why then do I think that the Windy Captain 35 is the thinking man's performance boat? Well, the reason is it was clearly built by thinking men. Take the helm, for instance. Details like this. Most would just suffice with the edge of the windscreen here. Not windy. They've built in an extra handrail on the inside. Then there's the dash itself. All made out of complete matte material. Not bright. No glare. So you've got great vision. You're not blinded. And look how I'm sitting as well. I mean, this is a windy, of course. It's performance orientated. You're wedged in the seats. Throttle and wheel both fall to hand. And it's so easy to drive as well. You know, like the Hunton where you're wiggling around getting onto the plane. This, thrust the throttles forward, plenty of go from the twin 370s and you're up and running at 30 knots in seconds. And at 30 knots, it's the most efficient, it's deathly quiet, you can talk to your passenger without shouting, it's comfortable, the vision is great, I mean it doesn't really get much better than this. But then of course, open it right up and you're getting close to 50 knots, I mean what more could you want from a boat? This is exactly why the Windy 35 comes in is the definitive thinking man's performance boat.